Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoors and welcome back to the channel. We've got a unboxing and installation video of a 270 awning that goes around the Jeep. I'm doing a Jeep series where we're building out this Jeep and I'll put a playlist on the uh, on my channel and in the description of all these and at the end I'll I'll put them in these little cards. If you're interested in that, we've put lighting on it. We've done uh, some stuff in the interior uh, and today we're going to do a it looks huge i don't know how this is i've never put one of these on before the last thing i did uh we'll put the lights on there there was some fabricating that we had to do i'm kind of curious if that will be fabricating here as well it looks like all the hardware is down there let's see here oh my god it is freaking heavy this is nature nest awning which is a really awesome company they've sponsored this video thank you nature nest and uh, let's see what's all in here if you're interested in one of these i'll put it in the description at the bottom as well let's put this bad boy to, together We've got a little bit of instructions the 270 fitting guide which i got right there tips and tricks uh, setting your awning all right this thing is huge this looks, feels like some string and some hardware stuff i won't need this box anymore it looks like it's got a little bit of damage over here I know, can you see me over here? There we go. Looks like we've got some brackets here. I'm just curious how this fits on here. Something like that. This is pretty. Look at this. Okay, and hopefully it don't fall off, but it has this track on it. Can you see that? Got these little tracks on here. So that's the one thing I want to, want to know is, because I don't want to leave this on here full time, what it'll take to put it on there and how easy will it be able to take on and off because that is my daily driver truck as well so so let's take this stuff here because we won't need this right now let's take these out there and uh hold on one second let's see what's inside here real quick so it's got some wiring on it as well some usb-c and some plugs i don't know what that's about just yet and it looks like some clips and uh, i guess that might be to hold this tight maybe on the outside so i got these and then this i'm pretty sure is to hold the awning out like it might have poles where you can hold it out never done this before guys so we're doing it together but the cables i wonder if there's lighting in here so we've got some u-bolts a bunch of screws screws and uh lock washers so we got four u bolts one two four six shepherd's hooks and these things here as well which i wonder is does this doesn't look super hard to put together so far i uh, just want to see something before we let's pull this out right here just kind of figuring this thing out i don't know what all this stuff is for so let's go to the truck all right this shouldn't be too hard i don't know the right answer to this question but when you are putting up an awning i think it's the awning should probably be on the driver's side just my opinion uh, and then you can get into your tent on the passenger side especially with a, a long awning like this um let's get a bucket we don't have to keep climbing up and down this lifted jeep hopefully this will hold me so let's look here there we go i didn't bring everything let's go grab one here we go so i want to get out as far as i can here take a look so i need to move this but i want to be out so i, need, I probably need to drill some holes inside there because i want to be as far out from the, the cab as i can be let's get this out of the way real quick well, i need to come out that's not gonna work come on lord jesus help me Put that there and i want to be out as far as i can be so let's get got like washers and stuff here will this fit it let's try that first because i'm already stuck might as well all right will that fit it stay just lightly there ha look at that all right i need to screw two holes in here let me go get a a drill real quick stay we'll be right back boom 
I don't know if this is metal or wood drill bit. But this isn't really thick. Here, hold that. Boom. Alrighty. Kind of looks about straight. Might be too big. All right. Smaller drill bit. Is this big enough to fit in there? Yeah. This is just too big. All right. This might work. I don't think I have anything else. Just bring this with this little drill bit. Boom. A little bit of fabricated. Is this? Let me see real quick. Uh, I want to try this one. This is a little bit bigger. Come on. We'll just keep going. Just try something new. Let's go smaller and then bigger. Let's see what happens. I think these are big. Oh, they're cobalt. Therefore, uh, might be still a little too small. So this needs to go up just a little bit. Hopefully, there'll be a little bit of play. It's the right size. That should be able to go in there. It's going in there. That is good. So I we'll have to do it again on the other side. But um, let me get this off because I want to put a washer in there. Boom. All right. And another one. With the washer, we've got plenty of screw there. I'm going to probably leave this a little bit loose because I, I don't know if well, this is completely straight. I'm just going to get a, um, a washer and two lock, lock nuts here and kind of tighten them down. And we should be okay. Just need to, what size is this? 13? So 13 is good for the bottom. It's not locked down just yet. We've got this side. We don't need you to watch the other side. You got it. We just had to do a little bit of fabricating. Um, so I'm going to go on and mount that side up. And then the next thing we'll be right back and we'll go and try to put the awning on from there. All right. So I've got these loose, this one tight, so it'll pivot. But once we get this locked in, I could go on and tighten up. These are all lock washers. The next thing now, is to go in and run these bolts through the track and I'll show you what that looks like and then it'll be able to screw on. So far, fairly easy, a little bit of fabricating, but not too bad. Let's go back in the shop where there's AC. I don't need any washers. So I've got the longer screws here. I'm hoping that'll work. And boom, I'm gonna show you how to get into this real quick. Come on over here. So it's got this little rubber thing on here. You just pop this off. And it's got four holes on each side. You'll need, and that doesn't move. So, boom. Here's the trick. I'm not sure when you pick this up, keeping it from sliding all over the place. Because this will need to go down here. And these two will need to be down here. I could put some tape on it, I guess. And we've got two on one side, two on the other side. So we'll have four on each side. Then we'll put this little rubber piece back. I don't know how well that stays on there. I got it backwards. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it stayed there for long. I want to maybe put a little bit of tape. I got some painter's tape right here just to keep it from, if I pick it up, I don't want it to slide. I sit there and struggle it with it. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. This could be a bad idea. All right, so next thing is, so let's take this. What I'll do is I'll pick up one side and like lightly screw everything, pick the other side up, and then lightly screw everything, make sure it's adjusted where we like it, and then um, lock it down. So, so far, not hard. And that's probably the front driver's side. All right, let's take it, let's go. This thing weighs a million pounds. There we go. The, uh, the writing on it is all the way in the back. I'm glad I put the tape on there. Let's see, freaking serious. So that's the top. I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit. Just so it'll fit on there. There, I'm wrong about that. I gotta go over a little bit more. Maybe I should put a washer and a nut on it real quick, just to make sure it doesn't come off. Just put a couple of screws on that. There, and there we go. Don't break nothing. I've gotta slide it down a little bit, because it's already. Can I slide it? Will it slide with me? Huh. It's be good to know before you, you start. You know what I mean? Come on. Is that gonna come with me or not? I got so much weight on it. I'm messing up those threads. This has got to come way down. So, take the tape off. Moving the tape down just a little bit. Take the screw off again. Put that in 
in this pocket right here. Move the tape down a little bit. It might even be better if I measured all this. Let's just keep going. Maybe I should get in the in the cab. All right. I call my son. See if he'll come over. Hey, bud. Can I borrow you for a second? I'm trying to put my awning on, and it is not working. All right, thanks. I'm still right. The zipper's on the bottom. So if the zipper was on the top, that would make it almost impossible to get it from down there. So the, the writing is all the way on the other end. So I'm glad I seen that. Hey, John, could I borrow you for a sec? Are you, you about to go? Uh -huh. I got Abram about to be here. Whatever works for you. If you need Just, me for a second, I'm here. This is John with Traveling Outside the Box. You probably have seen him on my channel and I'm sure you followed. You've seen me, we've been together a lot. So the zipper's down at the bottom okay. this way. The writing needs to go out that way. So I'm, when you pick these up, they move. So I got a little bit of tape on them. So I'm trying to get this on here and that one. So I think I might go inside and move it. If I get you and Abram to lift it up, that would be freaking perfect. Oh. And then you can move those to tie into those. Right. This is definitely doesn't feel like a one man show. So Abram, grab one end and um, he's gonna grab the other end and then we'll lock it in. Down here, there, uh, back it up just a bit, bit. There we go. Yeah, you're a little bit close to the paint. You talking about paint. All right, and you okay over there? Yep. Matching your shirt. He is made for it. There, slide that down. Boom, is that there? Come on in there. That needs to go out just a little bit, don't it? This one, and that needs to come over. Yeah, you could let go. Just want to kind of take a look. They're hitting the Jeep. Yeah, even a solid half inch would get us taken care of. So I need to put some spacers. Abram, yeah. I've got this. Let go for a sec. Yeah. If you go into the shop and the actual uh, where we film, there is a box that has an electric bike on it. There's a bunch of little black washers, big square black washers. Is it heavy? Uh, no, it's good. Did these slide out in here? Is that I've, got, I've got it pushed out as far as I can. I, uh, I would have to like re-drill holes, I guess. Um, but these are long screws. Uh, how many you got there? All of them? Yeah. Let me see two real quick. Go ahead and pull it back. And one, two more. What do you think, like that or maybe too many? Let's take a look where that puts us at. And if it's square there. Oh, that looks great. That actually looks fantastic. Only problem is I might have to put two. So I'm going to take this with me. Uh, I've got to go to Ace Hardware and um, I'm going to show you why. It's the spacer. Look at this. So I got this gap right here. Do you see that? Let's see if I can get you over there. I put those spacers, which is cl plenty, but I need a one inch spacer right here or it's going to hit my Jeep right there. And that's just because of how this, see how it's angled. So I'm, I'm not worried too much about this side but I need to go run to Ace and get a, a one inch spacer for that. So I'll be right back, run the motorcycle up there. Got the spacers. I am freaking tired of thirst. What in the world? So I got these, they're like a dollar. That's one inch. So we'll put that spacer in now. I gotta figure out how to do this. I moved the truck just a little bit just to see, cause I didn't know how big this was gonna be. But uh, it's the first time I've ever done anything like this. But it's exciting. So did I do this wrong? Because it looks like the hinge is this way. Please don't say I did it wrong. It looks like I did it wrong. Let's just open it up. It look, This has all the hinge stuff to go all the way around. Let's see. This is wrong. And it's got a lot of weight hanging off of it, off the backside. So I have to flip this around. Huh. The piece is actually hitting the truck right now. I should have looked at that. I would have assumed it would have been on the, the driver's side. I'm not changing it. I'm gonna have to flip it around, but it's definitely will bend, bend in it really bad. All right, so push this in. I don't think I have the right uh, topper for this, but uh, let's see here. Where'd the top go? Where'd that little, you have these, they are. Boom, boom looking for those little D-rings. No way, man, dang it. Where those little D-rings go? The other problem is the, um, the bracket is leaning way too hard, which I'm not sure how to fix. I gotta flip this around. How hard would it, is this to zip up? See this? Shoot, got 
this little rubber piece to protect it. You can't even open this door. This shouldn't, be, shouldn't give me that part of problem. I can't shut this part for some reason. I don't think I put this together. Right, so would it make sense for it to be further out? You'd assume that it would be right there. But if I brought it all the way out to line it up on here, I could actually push it closer, but it would be, what? It's gonna stick out a whole two feet. And I don't like that. I'm doing something wrong. Well, I know that's wrong. All right, well, I've gotta fix this. I'll be right back. To unscrew the back of the, lift the rack up, spin it around, and then bring it back down. I need to slide it back just a little bit because I can't even open the door. Way smarter. So I got my son coming. This was on the wrong side because I had all this fabricated up here. I had to drill holes and we're going to lift this up, spin it around and just put Got it. And you're going to need the most leverage. Gotcha. We're going to have to probably do this in what two. Once we get it centered, you'll probably have to rotate. Once we get it that far, we're going to try to put it back down. So let's see. That should be strong enough. Lift right there. Let's lift, it lift it, buddy. Keep going like you're doing now. I can't see the truck that good. Stop right there. Yeah, I think you're good if you run over there. Got it. Up. Watch that paint for sure. Get it over the truck. Lift up uh, Abram on the back side. Yep. You think so? I can do any of my new changes in here. Are we okay? I see over here, Barry. Is that probably is right there? Yeah. Is that, we're interacting with the Jeep with this. Gotcha. Just a little bit right there. And then that is perfect. It's much different when you go the other direction, but that's really it, though. We're probably just not perfectly square. Is away from the view. Pulling it individually. I'm gonna give it a little tug, okay? What, are we going this way? Just a little bit. I'm just gonna see what happens there. We need to loosen the Jeep. Grab that, John. And that's gonna do the top, but not the bottom. It'll be have to pull the whole thing out. And I'm wondering if we could slide this. That's all the muscle we need, buddy. You can go. We need the fatty. Probably need him again in a bit. What's wrong? Spin it? I'm not sure if it's No, it would be almost impossible. It's got that lock. On. All right, we'll have to do the bottom too. And is that, is it the same? Mm -hmm. 13? They're all the same. Um, we want to grab Abram. And just take it off and slide it down completely? Yeah, I think that's our best bet. Okay, let me grab it one more time. Once we have it past it, we're free to cut anything we want. And I don't think we want to connect this until. Gotcha. Hey, I was wrong. We have to take the uh, little thing off and slide it down a little bit. So I need your help. One more time. Hey babe, um, Abram walked in and said it smelled like propane in here. Mm. Turn the oven off and not do potatoes in the oven. Okay, yeah, I could do potatoes in the grill. All right, um, so we'll need to go ahead and get it going then if we're gonna do that, because it has to be cooking for a long time. Okay. All right. All right. What, how did that happen? It was on there before. I'm just not sure. Maybe when I was uh, helping earlier. Yeah, oh, I think yeah, I got it too, tire. tire. So I think since you've already done this, if you want to hop in there, oh. as soon as we get it past that, and then everything else can fall in the place. Tighten this up, we can... Yeah, so what our goal is, Abram, is we're going to slide this back as far as we can. I'm going to un... Dang, that was one of those water dropping things, you know what I'm talking about? All right, so I'll take this off. Did you do I these? The All right, you got to put your hands on these now. You might want to go back to the shallow one. So gotcha. Just a little off. All right, one second. I think I'll just go get the um, sock or the uh, opening wrench real quick. What do you need this? Yeah. What if I get a sock, a socket? It's really yeah. Great for employees or for employers right now. Having search looks good, so I would also. I think we'll have to do something to do. Well, you got the uh, the end off. Just broke it. Oh, I got you. So you'll be able to use less of that now because we should be able to push it all the way in. So if the first teeth are good, open wrench, we might want to do that. I'm not sure that's gonna happen, huh? Hey, Abram, hand me the pressure now. Have that gasket in it, though. That that blue gasket makes it hard to. Uh, it's rubbing all on my truck. You're completely off now, Abram. All right. Let me know when you're clear. We'll we'll just slide it right out. All right, clear. clear. There it is. See that? Oh, it's better. All right, so y'all ready to bring it over? Let's see where. Or we want to loosen this up and slide it back. Just trying to loosen. I've got it slid in back maybe two inches. Because we're going to try to sneak it in here for strength. I mean, that's a whole lot stronger. So. Let's probably stick it like that because 
we're gonna have to deal, contend with this. My next jump, see how these jumps are? <clears throat> Dang, got the big boy. Yeah. Go into the second building, and right when you walk in, look to the left on the box, there's an adjustable wrench where it's got a little thread like that, and it makes the screw go in, the jaws go in and out. Send that to me. Cause this is it's the, the broken one that we had issues with. Railing, yeah, it's twisted, lodged, uh -huh. so that screwdriver is able to twist it back. It's fine. Did you cut hurt yourself? Yeah, did uh, because we have band aids and stuff, right? Do you need it? Yeah, I can use band aids. Uh, um, break that loose. I'm gonna hold, give me just a second. Let me hold on to that. Go ahead, go. Uh, it's not even with the threads. Oh, it's fine. Uh, we're getting it off, so I'll just put a new screw in there. One for you. Got one that yeah, I guessed was cross thread. Or just seeing if Abram will break it off, or just so we can get this free. Are you asking me, is it moving? Yeah, because it feels like maybe you're like. I'm not moving. moving. Okay. I'm staying still. You're the one moving. Pushing, then pulling. Yeah. That first hand might were to try to keep it on there since it's bent. The hand here and push there if it's possible. I can even have to maybe hop up there and help you push. So, like closer to the. Yeah, so it okay. stays grip exactly. Okay. Just like that, I think, right there. It's like fabric. Yeah. It's almost off. Like there's threads. Yeah. There's hardly anything on there left. John, can you help him? I think he's just see, like, leverage anywhere. So see what's happening. He's just coming off the end there just a little bit. But that leverage point is a dangerous point. You also want to be careful if it does get loose. Yeah, that's just it. With that might create better for that leverage point. It's just the best part is having your thumb there, but then you're gonna that thumb's gonna disappear. Break it, buddy. Do whatever. I think this is the best point to not lose his fingers. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. You broke it. All right, so that is broke on. Everyone, when you go into the shop, go straight to the wall to, with a bunch of these little black screws. Can you just bring a whole box out here? We're just gonna... Make sure you take a shot back and get these metal parts because uh -huh. um, they'll rust immediately. Just do it and the summer already rusting on the vehicle. Nice. This is a protected bed, but just make sure you get all that. That's a good idea. And we'll put one of these back on here. Oh yeah, I see. So that's a huge jump. Yeah. So we would be way up here. Let me get by real quick. Okay. Because this is not going to be something he can... Right here, buddy. Just straight against the wall. Yeah, I'm ready to, to lift it back up and connect it. You really test it. We need that bolted down. But you're only a quarter inch off now. But any true movement is going to move that just a little bit. Gotcha. But there's definitely a chance. See how close that is? Yeah. I was wondering if you could put put the wedges up there. Or maybe the wedge is underneath here. Is it mostly to get that open? What I would do is wherever this goes, I'm not sure if it if it goes right here or if it's a forward or backwards. Hmm. I would connect this one and only this one because then we can really wrench these down without altering it. Yeah. See how much movement there is there. Right. And I want to make sure that we're not you know affecting that. So I, I would tighten that one and probably only that one. Uh -huh. And then we can see if you need to change anything. Um, now I've got this tight here, right. but these things alter it quite a bit. It's not moving this. Um, but it will this. Gotcha. And I want to make sure when I'm moving this, that it's not going to move that. If you look at really getting after it. But you would want it at an angle outwards. Um, but just kind of to, to show you. Yeah. Because I wonder if that was even enough. Oh, now we don't have these screwed down. There's a gap there. Okay, so that'll tighten it in a little bit. Yeah, it'll bring it in. Oh. Might have to lock that door if, if so. But. Oh, or lift this. Put a wedge underneath it. If I put a wedge underneath it, I'll, I might could get me some. Yeah, there's room for screwing. There's, oh yeah, plenty. Yeah. So you'd have to get some type of data bug. Did you? Um, get used to it, huh? So you're wanting to go? I think we're good. Something that you know would lift each one, a good piece of metal or something. That that spacer that we took off from the. Oh, those black ones. Yeah. I think that's enough contact. It's a lot smaller than that piece. Uh, where are they? Oh, those there, yeah. Let me lift it up. Centered if I can. Good. And we need to put one on this end, really. Just this side, and then probably one there, but. And still, that is way off. Yeah. Once I screw that in. You still gotta bring, and that's not gonna be the set of the tarp. It's gonna be definitely lower, which will take some stress off of this. Right. Oh, well, huh. okay, well, that's cool. Angles it up. And these are lights. Oh, no kidding. Thank yeah, you. I see a little thing right there. I don't know what that is, maybe the power for them. Pop that down. The finish is on. Wash up here, bro. You think you're good for now? Yeah, we'll just leave it. Um, and then we'll, 
I'll have to come back. What's that? I think underneath the bumper to your, your front will definitely work because I can make it a little tighter, but that's and right there. It's going to be fine. Gotcha. So far, this has been pretty tough. Now, my problem is I've already done some damage to the Jeep right here and right there. It bit into it really bad. The door, and we still don't have the bottom screws in just yet. So this is a little bit tougher than I thought it would be. When this is done, it's gonna be cool, but it's not uh, not working out the way I hoped it would be. Because of the, the rack, the rear rack, has such a strong angle. That has a lot to do with it. So we gotta pay attention to that if you buy one. Because that has such a strong angle. And this thing is nice. When you pull these back and you lift this up, it's got lights in it, but we're not done with it. I gotta call it today. So we'll be back at it tomorrow. I gotta be able to open up my rear door. But we'll be back tomorrow. So this video has taken about a week and a half. Um, I just got some new brackets that'll raise the, the um, awning up because I can't even open the door, which I've shown you already. But let me show you what I've done so far, what I've gotten. Um, so th um, this is the bracket that it came with. And I went to a, uh, I found a company that has one that actually raises it up three feet, three inches, I'm sorry, three inches. So that's where it was. And so we're gonna mount this up and hopefully it'll clear it. We've done some damage to the Jeep, which super sucks. Also, we broke some bolts because putting it on and taking it off and blah, so I had to go to Ace and get some more bolts. But I would imagine there's not a one fit thing that fits all type situation in my mind, different applications for different vehicles or whatever, but I'm hoping this will work. So let's get this built. Let's put this on and uh, get this on here and let's see if this thing will work out. Cause I want to use it, man. I'm excited after this, I'd like to get the um, rooftop 10 on. So let's get this built. All right. All right. I need one thing. That's another. We're gonna get this though. So I enlarged, enlarged the holes so I can, it'll fit in there. Oh, hopefully this will work. I'm trying to get it as far out as possible. Um, hopefully this will work. Boom, boom. Does it does get a washer. All right, come on. Probably shouldn't have tightened that other one until I got this on here. That's my fault, I know better than that. Oh, is this not big enough? I freaking not. This isn't big enough. The hole that I'm trying to go after is not big enough. What in the world? Can I make it big enough? All right, so I gotta make this bigger as well. I don't wanna change anything. I want it as out as far as possible. And, uh, um, I'm hoping this will freaking work. All right, I'm gonna drill these holes. I'm gonna put this on um, because nothing's constantly like working. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna drill these holes on all three of these so um, I can bring this out and uh, I'll be right back and get all these on. All right, and the last screw was a pain in the butt. So uh, anyway, I wanted to show you uh, what we've done so far. So I've got these two screws in. These didn't even exist uh, because the width um, of the bracket that goes over top of that, I had to drill these holes and all of these so I could have a, uh, a top and a bottom screw because it wouldn't have fit. So I had to drill that, I had to drill this, and I don't know, can you see that? I don't know if this is made from high carb or something, but it, this stuff does rust. This uh, this bad boy right here. So I've got all these on and I'm looking and it is like, you can see it is barely across it. I'm wondering if it's just gonna rub on top of this. I'm not sure if it will or not. I don't know how well that it will. I can totally reach this, but um, I think it's gonna probably touch the top of that. And I don't know, 100% know if that's a super bad thing or not. So I better make sure I get all my tools. Um, 
So the next thing is, is let's go in and get the uh, awning on here. And uh, man, it'd be perfect if this is done. And the only thing I'm worried about is it gonna rub up here. And you see the damage right there. I'm gonna have to get that figured out. But all right, I'm gonna probably go grab John from Traveling Out to the Bots. Um, and uh, what's it, Moto Adventures. He owns two channels. See if he'll help me get all this put back together um, and see what it looks like. Um, but if I mess up, y'all are coming with me. All right, let's get it going. All right, let's get this cleaned up a little bit. Get the awning over here so we can build it. I think one of the challenges, because I want the awning to come right up against the, the tent. So I want it, we had it before, it was way too out, I'd, too, too far out. Let me grab this thing real quick. It's crazy heavy awning life. And I gotta make sure I ain't screwing up, putting it the wrong way like it did last time. All righty. All right. Okay, well, come on. Let's look at this. Let's see here. Where are you? Oh, on that side. There we go. All right. So, I think you've seen this once before, but um, can you see what I'm doing? All right. I'm gonna pull this little rubber thing off again that's attached to the end. And this was a hard, I was hard on this part. There we go. This down here somewhere. There's gonna be two on top, two on the bottom on each end. Come on, buddy. I don't know if, let's see. So I need to do two on the bottom. And this is kind of guessing, I guess you could measure. Um, and then these are the ones from um, Ace Hardwell. Two here. Come on. Oh, I need, no, we're doing three. That's right. We're doing three. Last time it was two. This should work. I hope it works. I'd like this project to be finished. And then off to the next project. Next video. It's always the last one, man. The last just fought me. Come on. This is probably going to be down here anyway. But come on. There we go. Thank you, Lloyd. All right, so... Look at what we got going on. So, um, four and four, and we're gonna put them up here. I'm gonna call John real quick and see if he'll come out and help me figure this bad boy out. All right. Hello. Hey, buddy. Can I borrow you? Yeah, I'm walk over. All right, cool. See you in a minute. I'm not sure how these are gonna go. Put this little rubber thing down on the. All right, buddy. Do you want me to hold it up? Um, yeah, yeah. Have you, mm -mm. by chance, measured out your tent at all yet? No. You know it's gonna fall? I don't. Um, so you got that there is what we're using? Well, this. Okay, oh, in here? Yeah. Okay. That'll, uh, let's see if it's the same. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's the same. You got it, buddy? And, uh, little and then hopefully that's not copyrighted <laughs> we are going to use yeah yep yeah. so i've got to get the these bad boys spaced and you're going to do two i had to drill these holes everything i had to manufacture is that right everything yeah because these holes are too small for those screws but um i uh, got these two and then we'll do the top boom and they should fit fine okay. um so it let's i guess you could set everything I'm gonna just put these kind of right close. Gotcha. Um, but I'd, I'd like the, the the end of the um, awning to line up with this. I think I can adjust the um, rooftop tent. Okay. To the awning right here? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I don't know if this will fit. If you look, if you scan right across, it looks like it'll ride the top of this, um, which I'm worried about that could hurt the paint. I don't know, but it looks like Looks like we have clearance. It does. So we'll see. Do you want to attach the middle first or what do you put your thoughts? Uh, I, I was th probably in my mind there, there, and there, like, like this. All right. And we're doing right. I'm going to, because once we put this on here. <laughs> Last time we're here. Yeah. As long as like the words are correct on the bottom. Gotcha. So right. And it's going to go. Do you see the words? So you are correct. So that's going to be to me, right? Okay. 
I got you. All right, so glad you're here with me because I don't see how somebody could do this by themselves. It would be crazy. Yeah, there's going to be about where you want it. Okay. I'm going to get these down and then we'll take a look at the top. So you can see down. I got this. All right, it's resting on the Jeep on the top so that I'm okay. Let's like barely get it on. I'm trying to tell me what to do. I, I'm about down here. I can help. Press this up. Up. There we go. Can you get a little screw in it and like leave it alone? Because you got. Tell me what to do, John. Lift the top up or out? Yep. All right. That could go in, yeah. Go ahead. Can we push it in? Yeah, we can give it a try. Looks like it's too close on one of the bolts, so it's not going in straight. Oh, okay. So it needs to come out. Um, so you hold that first. Hold. Okay, I'll hold it. You push. I'm going to give it a little tug. Go ahead. I can do this as well. Oh, if you'll hold it for a second. I got a flathead you could do, probably do a little tappy with. Okay. You want to hold it? Yep, I you got, got it. it. You're okay? Give me just a second. Let me grab. The, uh, boom. And boom. All right. And you could take and go inside the track and give it a little tap. A little bit. All right, yep. I got this. Yep, I got it. It's money, huh? Boom, put this guy. All right, so the next one needs to come out, right? What do we need to do? Let's see, I think we need this pushed up. Up. Outside. I don't know what to do. A little pressure. You can probably go down there and hold it up just a bit. Come down? Yep. Okay. Eighth of an inch tall. Hello, Simon. There, hold in. You want to loosen the like you did before? What you trying to do? I, I'm... See if I can bring the bottom out and rotate this up. Yep. And then just have the bracket do it. Shake it or right. one of the threads are just just right. Gotcha. All right, now we can start. Doing them. Getting close. Getting close. Auto zone if they got like in there. Yeah. Hold. Nope, everything's there. That 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 right there. Yeah. Go up though. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Just the very bottom. Yeah. There. Gotcha. You know? That's very true. I so I'm going to lock these guys. Is there... Yeah, so when you tighten it, you don't necessarily have to hold it. You know, once it'll bite. I think there was... It would probably be best, but... I'm gonna see if you can get a magnetic rubber mat. Uh, no, let's lock it down. It's uh, in this video. Because that's what's going to magnetic a mat or. Yeah, I mean, those are just about everywhere. Sorry. On that social media. Social media gang.
Oh yeah, that thing's imminent. Because that metal bar is there. Uh, all right, let me see. Where are I? Hey, John, the flathead on the um, Allen wrenches, would that work? Tappy, tappy. Again, a little bit of a problem. Testing, testing. A little bit of problem right here. The, uh, I can get to the zipper. Uh, we're gonna open it up and see, but I'm gonna need to put, or something. So. We got, we can do just our last little look good. And yeah, he can't rotate anymore. Nice to get a little effort around. Up and see what happens. That rubber, something can come like right here. Yeah. So there's a million magnet. Let's open it up. It looks like the zipper's clear. Let's see how it opens. I'll probably have the, what was that? Oh, is that oh yeah, I replaced it. Got it. Okay. Yep. All right. So open this up. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. I see. I gotcha. Tighten this off. Oops. Way to go tighter? Because yeah. it needs to go maybe that way more. Yep, I think. Absolutely. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. That yeah. Let me, let me show you where John put it. I'll show you that. So, because you got to tie off this. Yeah, that line just gives you a fantastic piece right there. Yeah. Wow. I like it. Yeah. Look at that coverage. Dude, that's insane. Looks like these little Velcro. What's the nice? And then, what do you do? Tight? Okay, so you just twist the bar. Yep, and then when you're good and tight, spin it back in. Okay, gotcha. So it just turn it. Okay, I gotcha. Wow. You could park your cycle underneath here. Yeah. What did you do the other day? Oh, yeah. Here, I'll show you something pretty cool. Take a look at this. <laughs> that is awesome. Let's see. So you can take these and you slide them back and lift this up. And uh, you get that rain angle, right? I know. And this thing's got lights. Just, and it's got, um, um, walls she can put up see the velcro, yeah. yeah wow this is neat here take a look you see this you could do uh camping cordage down for strength oh that's cool yeah every section oh, has a uh, yeah uh, a true d-ring that's solid metal d-ring yeah we got lighting then you turn it on right here, but you got to run the power. They've got a, um, they've got, um, um, cordage. You put, you plug ins right here and you can turn it on, which is pretty awesome. Wow. Yeah. Lifting it up was the way there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Couldn't get it in. Now we can get into the door, man. Oh, and there's one more we can put here. Um, let me grab this, but, uh, 
freaking awesome. I see. Does that work? Oh, yep. yep. And you just twist it. Yeah, twist way back. That's that's solid. Awesome. So, freaking finally, this was a very long video. It took me, uh, me and John, what, a week and a half. Well, we had to get parts, and there's a lot of manufacturing. Operations, little changes. Mm -hmm. So, a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but once it's Adventures. adventures yeah man thanks so much for helping me buddy happy to help out i, I love this man. this is nice yeah heck yeah man guys i appreciate y'all and i'll see you on the next one